is this one. Luxury should be lived in. Experience the Infinity QX50 at your local Infinity retailer. Tonight, you landed enough Wyndham Rewards points to land in that oh-so-alluring place. In your screensaver. See you soon, Henry. Jealous. Tonight, La Quinta. Tomorrow, you triumph. Ah, oh, the summer it was gonna be. Pearl looks skip free. I never mailed my space camp check. You are going to fix it. Are you guys all there? No. Then get out! Lance Bass guest stars on a new single parents. Wednesday on ABC. Both teams are trying to get favorable matchups and then drive those matchups. You look here, Harden against Curry. Curry could probably be a little bit more square. Durant could be more active, but they're trying to search fouls. And then Curry blows by house. And this is the one that you can't give up. The semi-transition after a mate. Trotting back. Open driving gaps. And as the great Gordy Chiesa said, horses trot. Winners sprint. <laughs> Been waiting for a shout out. Gordon Meanwhile, the 30 year old man is a life year old. He's 6'4, 215. He's a tank. And he actually lost some weight this year. Curry guard of Lai Nene. They go down, five to shoot. Looks up at the shot clock. He's going to have to get it off. He does. Shot short. Rebound. Not close. Thompson trying to die. Give it to Nene. Defending Steph Curry. Now, I don't want that, but give him credit. He did an outstanding job on that possession. And Harden was active off Iguodala in the corner. So instead of doing what the rule basically is in the NBA, don't help off the strong side corner, that's outdated. It's all who's got the ball and who's in the corner. It's called knowing your customer. Wet spot over in front of the Rockets bench. So, mopping up. Good job. My staff here at Oracle. Rockets down four of the Wolves. We approach three minutes gone by here on the fourth of game one. Gordon, deep three. And then he knocks it out of bounds. Last year, this a terrific 17 conference final between these two teams. The Rockets had home court advantage. They had that spectacular year last year. And Golden State went in and won game one on the road. Rockets trying to do the same thing here this afternoon. Curry, pass inside, throw it right to Paul. And he was swung. Harden drives inside, shot blocked by Iguodala and a jump ball. Andre Iguodala had an exceptional hand. Active, we've seen it. That's that's a clean play. He is so dependable at this time of year. I will jump it up. Draymond Green back in with Durant Looney. Andre Iguodala wins the tip. Duos. Go to duos. Durant will cross over, tries it again. Nene stays there, gets his hands behind him. They get out of offensive rebound. Those are crushing type of defensive possessions. Harden. What the f? Harden stepped back three. Way short Tucker grabs the rebound and Iguodala got underneath it, so a foul on Andre Iguodala. That'll be his third. And Coach took it on the other end. Again, good defense by Manning, but they're going basically to what you said earlier. Setting the screen and roll, getting the matchup that they want. This is an opposite defense in my opinion. This is going to get you on vacation. And the reason that Iguodala was free for the second shot was because Harden was in position to get such help on the initial Durant move. Murray just picked up his fifth foul. He's upset as he knocked it out of the hands and it went out of bounds. So that's five fouls on Curry. But those are poor choices by Curry. Whether he got it or didn't, and he looked like 
it was a good defensive play, it's still a poor choice. This year shot a career from the free throw line. Not only he gets there, but he shot it at 88%. <laughs> from the field. The Warriors 54% from the field. And if Arden hits this, it's only a four-point game. Turnovers and free throws. Both are to the advantage of Houston. That's how they're able to stay in the game. And really, you have to say with Curry up at five, they have the advantage right now. Raylon Green mishandled it. All right, so if you're Steve Kerr, how long do you leave Curry out with the five fouls? Does it depend on, obviously it depends on how the game goes. For me, I would love to be able to play him right now, but I have to say, he hasn't shown to hey, no. with his fouls. Noob, I got a, I got a score for you. That's a good point. I'd have to trust him. So right now, I can also hide on defending DJ Thumb. But they're just going to put him in pick and roll. Harden goes right at Looney. Little push off. That pulls back. Knocks down the shot. 29 for Harden. Rockets down two. And sometimes, it's okay for your best player to take a, a pull-up jump like that. Noob, here. Look. Take a dollar. Boy, Tucker, excellent ball denial. Durant wanted it. Shot clock at five. Clay Thompson looking for an opening. Tough turnaround shot. Won't go. Rebound tip. Still loose. Picked up by Gordon. Harden mishandles that one. Now drives. Gets inside. Kicks it out. Tucker. He fumbled it for a second. And wasn't able to get the three-pointer off. <coughs> Tucker the rebound. Lost it. Ball goes out of bounds. And it's going to stay ball. And a timeout call by Mike D'Antoni. The coach was talking about sometimes you, you want to see a shot go in. So rather than selling, gets to his spot, takes a mid range jump shot. That's a good shot. And a good way to get yourself going. The NBA Playoffs Western Conference Semifinals on ABC is presented by Control Tower from Wells Fargo. This is you taking control and in part by Infinity and Power the Drive. This is Jerry. Jerry has a membership to this gym, but he's not using it. Andy has subscriptions to the music service he doesn't listen to and five streaming video services he doesn't watch. This is Jerry learning that he's still paying for this stuff he's not using. He's seeing his recurring payments in Control Tower in the Wells Fargo mobile app. This is Jerry canceling a few things. Booyah. This is Jerry all set to watch the next game. This is Wells Fargo. Do it even if you're not supposed to be doing it. Because there are those who don't. Every time a vacation day interrupts a work day, a Corona gets its line. Every time your favorite getaway is a block away. Every time you find some friends and get lost. Every time the night takes you away and every time the last thing you want to do is leave. A corona gets its line. The rules of luxury. Look, but don't touch. Touch, but don't use. Use, but don't enjoy. Enjoy, but don't show it. If you're going to 
going to follow one rule, but make sure it's this one. Luxury should be lifted. Hey, yeah, get that. The Infinity QX50 at your local Infinity retailer. Your eyes don't deceive you. This taco is filled with crunchy, melty nachos for just a dollar. The new $1 loaded nacho taco from Taco Bell's Cravings Value Menu. Value beyond belief. Limits are meant to push you. But I'm not afraid to push back. Chase down your passion. Never in a hot way. I'm Coop Dyer. Now only the best things remain. I'm talking countless heroes with extraordinary abilities. Coming together in this epic battle. Although only one can be victorious, all will get everything for their team. For their sake. For greatness. Watch the 2019 NBA playoffs live. Tonight at 10 on ESPN Sports Center. Astros All-Star Alex Bregman joins the show for his reactions and analysis from Game 1 of the series. And Barry Melrose goes inside Hurricanes Island in Game 2. Steph Curry back in the game with five fouls. Curry in his career has only fouled out the playoffs once. That was back in 2016, Game 6 of the final. Fouled out 11 times in the regular season. They could have just got him on a screen. So he gets into the paint, finds Iguodala, back to Curry, steps back, three-pointer. And Nene playing some very important minutes for Mike D'Antoni, who's played 13 minutes thus far. And Mike D'Antoni just took a shot from Chris Paul. Pass inside. Nene one-on-one against Draymond Green. Just overpowers, lays it up and in. And I like that. He, he has had his way because they're staying totally at home. Foul ball. That's on PJ Tucker. That's his fifth foul. Golden State led by as many as nine here in the fourth quarter. And Tony seems okay after this shot that he took. Just ball. I'm okay. I'm okay. My lips bleeding, Bert. Upset again, wanting the referees to call an illegal screen. Well, if I'm the Warriors right now, I'm going to put Nene in the pick and roll with either Durant or Curry. They're switching and force him to defend. Eight to shoot. Durant drives past and gets inside and draws the foul. You're doing me a favor. With all due respect to Nene, that's not his strength. So if you're going to say that the house that they can guard, that he can guard either Curry or Durant one on one. I'm going to live with those results and keep it simple. Durant, 26 points. He's missed a couple of free throws, as you see. But to me, Coach, in this situation, I'd much rather P.P. Tuck a fight over the screen, Nene hold the fourth down and get back to Durant. Right, and because of that, they're taking Nene out and going with Tucker at the five which is better because now you can truly switch. Hey, team. come on, um, noob. I got a, uh, I'm finna set a lunch pad up here. Come on. It's going to feel like they stole something. Because neither team has played particularly well. The defensive toughness and the tenacity has been off the charts. Despite some of the sloppy play, Jordan steps back. Can't hit the three, cover the rebound. Dude, why you didn't use the lunch pad? You're going to be in the storm. And Durant fouled by Shepard. And this goes back to what the analytics say as far as three-point shooting. Kevin Durant plays outstanding defense against Eric Gordon, forces him into a tough shot. The Warriors come back down the floor and post up Kevin Durant mid-post. 
makes a play, gets right. Well, what's gotten confused in the whole analytic thing as Durant does look pretty good. The best shots still today are layups and free throws. And this is why defensively, if you're Shumper right there, you have to be disciplined and make him make the shot. Durant hits one of two. By the way, that was kind of a side-to-side -side swipe, but they were in the penalty. But that's also his natural shooting motion. He comes up left to right on his pickup. Warriors back up by three, five minutes left here in game one. Iguodala back on hard. Makes some pick up his dribble. And Paul foul by Clay Thompson. Not what I talked about. Chris Paul is so good at reading your position and then forcing you to commit a foul. And that's going to be a side-to-side, -side, but they're also in the penalty, so it's going to be two free throws, not three. Clay Thompson's left hand is in there, and he gets caught. Chris Paul missed three free throws so far today, but knocks that one down. Thompson, meanwhile, picks up his third foul. Clint Capella comes back in for Shumpert. And I like the substitution. Struggling, but we're going to win. We, we're going to need you, big fella. These are your five best players and your best unit. Down one on the road to seize home court advantage. Draymond Green, they look for Durant. Chris Paul's on him. Back to Curry. Capella. One footer. It's good. 31 for Kevin Durant. Fifth straight game, Durant's had 30 or more in these playoffs, including a 50-point game Friday. Hard to step back. Can't get it the ball. Fight for the rebound. Clay Thompson comes out of the pack. And Curry resets. Flips it over to Draymond Green. Back up Thompson, three-pointer. Rebound goes to Gadala. Thompson for three. Another miss, and a rebound this time from Gordon. Two great looks that wouldn't fall. Gordon tries a three. That's off the mark. And Thompson will let it go out of bounds. Three-point lead for Golden State. Another timeout with 340 remaining. Okay, what your game plan is. Sometimes greatness will outdo it. You look at the defensive play against Kevin Durant. Look over at your coach and say, it's just not working. We got to do something else. This is a bad man. The rules of luxury. Look, but don't touch. Touch, but don't use. Use, but don't enjoy. Man. Enjoy, but don't show it. If you're going to follow one rule, make sure it's this one. Luxury. Should be lifted. Help took fall damage. Need help. I'm up here on the rock, noob. The Pizzone from Pizza Hut. It's mean, cheesy, melty, and you know it's big. The pepperoni Pizzone is back and part of the five dollar lineup. Two or more, just five bucks each. No more. Our pizzas are hot. Have you got company insurance? Hmm. Hmm.
No, where you at, bro? This the last dude. He's the last dude. Where you at, bro? He healing his partner. Oh, he healing his teammate. I see you. Come on, come on, come on. He healing his teammate. Oh, they finna, they finna down me. <laughs> they see you. Damn, I'm dead. Hey. Yeah, I'm right here. <clears throat> Get him, noob. Nothing. I was giving my son his cup. <laughs> Yeah, the fan is on up now. No. And hard with a 30 point game. I got the same thing, get the same switch. Get Kevin Durant against a smaller defender. Right back to Durant. Shoot nope. God damn it, stop letting them get the fucking rebounds. Pass the ball. 
Man, one. Uh. From Pizza Hut, it's mean, cheesy, melty, and you know it's big. 
The pepperoni brazil is back in part of the five dollar lineup. Two or more, just five bucks each. No one out pizzas the hut. Some of the elite players in the NBA putting on offensive performances. Durant and Hart each with 35, but with 21.3 remaining, Golden State with possession of the ball, a three-point lead. All right, guys, what's the strategy here for the Rockets? Do you foul right away, extend the game? Do you try and go for a steal, get a turnover? Well, you have to try to go for the steal, be aggressive, but you certainly look to foul right away. And that's why they took P.J. Tucker out, because he had five. And obviously, to me, if I'm Shumpert, I'm going to come up into this front court and make that pass going to Draymond Green and try to foul him. Iguodala, Durant, Curry, Green, and Thompson. Durant catches. Chris Paul waiting for the double team. Ball stolen. Ball knocked it away. Pass picked it up. Here comes Harden. Shot clock off. Harden steps back, puts up the three. Won't go. Rebound goes to Paul. Ball knocked loose, and Gordon was out of bounds when he had it. Golden State ball, and a technical foul. Paul should have been thrown out of the game. With 4.4 remaining, Chris Paul with his second technical, which is automatic ejection, yelling at Josh Timmons. And the Rockets think Harden got fouled on his initial three-point shot. So Golden State will get a one-shot technical. That can increase it to four with 4.4 remaining. Ball knocked loose. Ball is loose. A lot of contact there, but nobody had possession. And then Gordon, when he touched it, was out of bounds. And Chris Paul said something to Josh Chibben to make him immediately throw him out. Harden putting those feet forward to draw, to try to draw the contact. I, I just, we just all need clarification. What constitutes a landing spot? Oh, hit me up. <laughs> oh, come hit me up. Whoa. Where you at, dude? Come hit me up. Thank you, sir. Oh, shit. Watch it. Damn, they got me down again, man. This bullshit. Seven. 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 Yeah, kill his ass. <laughs> nice game, bro.
the official truck of Callus and Elbow grease. The official truck of getting to work and getting to work. It's the official truck of homecoming and coming home. The all new Chevy Silverado. Now, during Chevy Truck Month, get 0% financing for 72 months on this all new Silverado Texas edition. Chevy drives Texas. Find new road. Want to experience sports like never before? Xfinity is the place to get it all. Watch live sports and track multiple games at once on X1. Say it, see it. Access stats, sports news, or tune to your favorite team with the sound of your voice. Show me how to score. Even take the game on the go with the Xfinity Stream app. Find all your sports on all your screens with Xfinity. Xfinity. Simple, easy, awesome. I switched to Chevy. I switched to Chevy. We switched to Chevy. I switched from a Ram to a Chevy. See why people are switching to Chevy. We love our Chevy. Why do we switch? Just look at it. Get 13% below MSRP on most Equinox models. Or current competitive owners get 20% below MSRP when financing with GM Financial. That's over $8,000 on this Equinox. HDS Plus. Monday on ABC 13. From ABC News, this is ABC World News Tonight. And good evening. Thanks for joining us on this Sunday. I'm Tom Yamas. And we begin tonight with a deadly attack at a synagogue near San Diego. A gunman armed with an assault-style rifle opened fire on the final day of Passover. A 60-year-old woman killed, three others wounded, and now we're hearing stories of heroism from eyewitnesses. One victim shot while protecting children from the gunman and the off-duty Border Patrol agent returning fire after the shooter's gun jammed. The rabbi hit, now recounting the moment his congregation was targeted. And the disturbing portrait of a 19-year-old murder suspect in custody tonight, with the hateful writings he allegedly posted online and a possible connection to a mosque arson just last month. ABC Chief National Correspondent Matt Gutman is outside the synagogue. That 19-year-old nursing student now accused of murder announcing himself with a burst of bullets. I turn around and I see the shooter standing there in position, delighted, moving with towards me. Rabbi Israel Goldstein nearly walked right into the shooter. So I was twenty meters away from that. Inside that synagogue near San Diego, nine-year-old Noya Dahan looked up, seeing the rabbi drenched in blood. Something in pain because he's getting shoot shot. Two of his fingers are like off. They're off, and he's like. Blood stuff. And she was like that 60-year-old Lori Gilbert Kay was also shot. She would not survive. After that, after the shooter the room, I came back to the lobby. <laughs> it's so long. Lori laying on the floor unconscious. The suspected shooter, John Ernest, accused of attacking a house of worship, killing one, injuring three. He had posted an open letter online saying he wanted to kill Jews. His target, the Chabad of Poway Synagogue. I see the gun like that, and I see it. And he's looking at me, and he's going like that. Eric was shot in the leg as he ran to protect children. Ernest had purchased an AR-style rifle weeks before, say law enforcement, but when it jammed, one congregant jumped on him, and an off-duty Border Patrol officer chased him out using a gun from a fellow worshiper inside, firing as Ernest drove off. The suspect arrested about a mile away, his parents appearing distraught upon learning the news. Their son now being held for murder. As investigators pour over his social media history and that letter, yeah, which he also really claimed to have set fire to a nearby mosque last month. He said his act was a tribute to the horrific massacre at the mosque in Christchurch, New Zealand. Yeah. Tonight, during our interview, Rabbi Goldstein receiving a phone call from the president. And you just take care of yourself, Rabbi. <laughs> the rabbi saying who remained a fight in the face of hate. We're not going to give into terrorism. Terrorism will not win, but peace and love will. 
That's how law enforcement sources tell me that Ernest only spent a few weeks planning this attack and that short runway makes stopping these lone wolf attackers that much more difficult. Now, those sources also say they strongly suspect that Ernest was the arsonist in that mosque attack. They also tell me that they expect him to be formally charged with murder and also hate crimes very soon. Tom. Matt Dublin reporting for us, Matt, thank you. Next night, the investigation to a massive crane collapse in downtown Seattle. The huge piece of My mic is on. A section crashing onto vehicles below. Four people are dead, including a local. Hey, my mic is on. Who are you talking to? Who are you talking to? Dude, our mic on. Watch the crane in this video captured by the Space Needle disappearing from sight, slicing through two buildings, one of those buildings under construction belonging to Google. Six cars crushed under the crane's weight. It landed right on the car. I mean, we were just standing there, totally in shock. Bystanders leapt into action, rescuing a 25-year-old mother and her infant daughter. If I can come out for you, so that's a fruit, that's, that's a blessing. And um, that the next kick out to be all on to that. Authorities say two people sitting in their cars and two workers inside the crane were killed. My heart breaks for the families that have lost someone today. <coughs> the construction company that owns the crane confirming that workers were dismantling the crane right before it came down. The National Weather Service says a line of showers moved through the area at the time, wind gusting up to 23 miles per hour. Their eyewitness video shows the crane appearing to tilt in the wind. It became really, really strong wind right around that time is when we heard the crash. Officials say the investigation into the cause of the accident was a month to complete. We reached out to that construction company to find out if their workers should have even been up there. Hey, you can hear me. In the first place, given those dangerous weather conditions, they tell us the investigation is ongoing. They remain on site, and it is too early to speculate. Tom. Maggie Ruby on that deadly accident. Maggie, thank you. Next tonight, the extreme spring weather, just two days until May, but that didn't stop the wintry blast sweeping across the Midwest. Tonight, near whiteout conditions in Iowa and Chicago, fresh snow falling on the tulips, newly in bloom. At the same time, in the south, the severe weather threat, powerful thunderstorms, this frontal cloud you see at their current camera in Aspermont, Texas. The system could cause headaches. For the Monday morning commute, let's get right over to ABC Senior Meteorologist Rob Marcano. Rob, walk us through the path. Well, we got a really fast moving flow, so a lot of systems coming down the pipeline here. Blizzard warnings up for Montana. Now you see the snow up there, cold northern tier, and then the severe weather in Kansas tonight. Severe weather watch up until 11 o'clock. Chicago, Des Moines, Milwaukee, Minneapolis. You're going to. Electromagnetic waves to stimulate the 